The clock stops at five. Now it goes on to run out, and the first half is over. And the first half. Okay. Mandatory. Oh, UCLA. Late. Five turnovers for California. Most of them in two of them are going for touchdowns, and then on California's side of the field just gave them four touchdown opportunities and they, uh, the drives were very amazing. 47 seconds, 50 seconds, two interceptions. First half, California's possessions ahead of 12 times. First possession, penalty, fumble. Second possession, fumble, sack. Third possession, penalty. Fourth possession, interception. Fifth possession, interception. Sixth possession, two penalties. Seventh possession, a sack. Eighth possession, a sack of the quarterback plus a penalty. Ninth possession, another quarterback sack. Tenth possession, interception. Eleventh possession, interception. Twelfth possession, penalty. Not much you can do when you play like that as UCLA kicks off and John Williams brings it out of the end zone. He's at least two yards deep in there. He comes back out to the 19, hit head on, penalty flag goes right into the stack. Marvin Morris, number 46, hit him head on along with Scott Stump. One more penalty for California, holding. They wanted to play a perfect game. Defensively for UCLA, this is how they will line up. Billy Don Jackson, interception, touchdown, first half, happiest day of his life. Manu Tuiasasopo, who plays the middle guard position. Don Hopwood, who's had an outstanding ball game at the other tackle. Linebackers are Jeff Muro. Jerry Robinson, number 84, two-time All-American. We'll show you the secondary people in a moment. Right now, it is California starting off in the hole and down 28-0. The ball is at the 10-yard line. Rich Campbell is the quarterback. He turns, gives to John Williams the tailback. And he pops it out across the 17 for a good pickup on first down. The defensive secondary for UCLA starts this half with Glenn Wyndham playing a linebacker position. Chris Elias is another linebacker. And then your secondary people, Johnny Lynn at corner, Bobby Hosea at corner, and the safeties, Mike Molina, the strong safety, and uh, Kenny Easley, the free safety. Second down and three, California at their own 17. Williams and Jones lined up behind Rich Campbell. The pitch to John Williams. Williams turns it and gets up across the 20 for a California first down before Manu Tuiasasopo gets the hold of the leg and locks him down. And Manu is shaken up on the play. California's offensive unit there as we gave it to you with Michael Bugs, number 21, the flanker. Tuiasasopo is up. He's all right. The offensive front, Smith. Uparesa, Leffler, Shaw, Bailey, Harmon, and Lundy. Moffitt has played quite a bit at the tight end position as well. Michael Bucks comes out to the right side. Holden Smith, the leading pass receiver for California. One catch, 13 yards so far in the game. That's Lundy in motion. Campbell looking to throw it. Throws it short. Good to Lundy. Lundy has got to stick his head down and lunge upfield for whatever he can get as Jerry Robinson makes the tackle. They mark him out up around the 28-yard line where it'll be second down and they'll need a little less than three for another first down. The Bruins leading 28 to nothing. But this California team has the ability to hit you in a hurry. But they haven't done it today. They just mistake themselves right out of the ball game. Now they've got to have some luck to get back in it. That's John Williams, the tailback, a good cut by Williams, a good run by Williams, first down, up at the 37-yard line. Now, this is exactly what Jed Hughes, the defensive coordinator for UCLA, was concerned about. I talked to him yesterday, and Tuiasa Sopo is out of the middle guard position right now for UCLA, which puts Raymond Robinson, a freshman out of Corpus Christi, in there. That if Cal gets his running game going, then the UCLA outside linebackers and the cornermen as well are going to have to come in and help on it. That opens the door for the pass. 37, first down. They give it to the fullback, Paul Jones, try to draw him up the middle, and there's just nothing there. Billy Don Jackson, 88, was just bang, bang right there. And so was Hopwood, number 96. 
Steve, uh, Roger Thede, the only thing he can tell his team at the half, we'll see right now who really wants to play. You're behind, we'll see who is going to help us win the next five ball games. At the 35, it is second down at about 12 for California. Loss of about a yard and a half on that last carry. Give it to the fullback, Paul Jones. And Jones fumbles the ball. Michael Molina was right there. So was the official. I kept waiting for uh, some kind of an indication that who had the ball. And it's UCLA. That's the sixth turnover, the second time that Jones has fumbled the ball. Watch uh, Jones. It's the draw play. He has a gaping hole, as you can see. But when he gets in traffic, he doesn't protect the football. Here's the traffic. He only had one arm, and the ball pops right out. Molina falls on it. So Mike Molina gets the fumble recovery. The Bruins are in business at the Cal 43. And carrying the ball is Theotis Brown, number 27. He gets down close to the 40. That's call it the 41. Pick up of two, second down and eight. That's the way the Bruins are lined up in their offensive backfield. And up front, pretty much the same group that started the ball game, Reese, the wide man. Second down, eight. Brown again. And he's to the California 38-yard line. California defensive front is a four-man front. Ralph Deloach, defensive end, number 94, a senior. Then you have Pat Graham at a tackle, along with Darrell Skogstad out of Seattle, Bob Rozier out of Sacramento. The linebackers are Ron Hill from Delano, California. David Shaw, Santa Ana. And Stan Holloway from San Francisco. Third down and four. Long four. And it's Brown over the middle. The artist Brown all the way down to the California 16-yard line before Bob Rozier brings him down. It's another first down for UCLA. The California secondary, which is being sorely tested now, Anthony Washington, a cornerback, number two out of Fresno. Darrell Swanson is from Oakland. He's a junior. Strong safety, Cochimillo, is out of Concord, California, a sophomore. And Tim Washington out of Fresno. First down, Bruins at the Cal 16. Ride it off to Marvin Morris in at the fullback position. He's over to the 14-yard line. I remember Morris came in for Brown in that opening ball game in the rainstorm in Seattle against Washington, and he made two big plays for UCLA, which set him up and set him on their way toward their uh, field goal. Brown is back in now, and Morris comes out. Gain of two, second down eight, just inside the 15. It's Brown one more time, and Theodos just cruising along, looking for the blocks, and he goes all the way to the corner before he is knocked down. See just how strong he is on that particular run. It's a mismatch when he gets in the secondary. The poor halfbacks that weigh 180 to 90 pounds, and Brown at about 225. Here it is, a base handoff. He breaks outside the containment, as you'll see right here. Now all he's got to do is turn it down and run over first, uh, Washington and finally the others come up and get him at the goal line first and goal to go from the one Owen touchdown scores his second touchdown of the ball game and the UCLA lead grows to 34 to nothing. Watch the replay. You can see that he's going to hurdle right here. If he gets the ball, goes right over the top. And he is a world-class hurdler and he's a world-class ball player. What a player he is. Kick is up by Burmeister, and it's good. 9-4-7 to play in the third quarter, and the Bruins are rolling. UCLA, six plays, 43 yards for two minutes and 12 seconds. And there's John Williams, and John has had no room today. Boy, he is just, they've sat all over him. Every time he's had the ball, he's been in traffic. And the 
times that he's had some opportunity to return some of these UCLA kickoffs. He's mishandled it. They let it go out of bounds. It kicks up the chalk on the sidelines, and that'll cost UCLA five. So while they bring the ball back up for the five-yard penalty, again, a rundown of what happened among the top ten today. Oklahoma winning over Iowa State. Looks like the Sooners are getting some well people again. Penn State won again. Joe Paterno's Nittany Lions were rolling along, and Arkansas losing today as Texas came storming back to beat them 28-21. Alabama had a pretty good little contest in Tennessee today, but still won by 13. Nebraska was down 14 to 6 in the second quarter, but you can see the Huskers have come storming back, and they have really been scoring the points. Maryland, uh, 39 to nothing over Wake Forest today, number six ranked Terrapins. UCLA now beginning to put some distance on Oregon State, uh, USC on uh, Oregon State at halftime, and the Michigan just crushed Wisconsin 42 to nothing. Actually, when you look at the schedule of UCLA, you've got to look all the way down to the USC game before you see what amounts to a real pressure threat. Now John Williams gets it at the four-yard line, and Wango, down he goes in a heap as Cliff Thomas came down and just nailed it. That is the only word I can use. Watch this. Watch Williams. Try to get some momentum going, but here's Thomas right side of your picture. Wow. Welcome out of baseball and into football. Mm. Well, that was a real hit. 15-yard line. Looking ahead to the schedule, UCLA has next Arizona in Los Angeles. They have Oregon in Los Angeles. They play Oregon State up there. And then have the Trojans in the Coliseum in their finale. All right, California trying to get something moving, and Carnell, Mike Carnell, number 32, a freshman, is in there, and he runs into Manu Tuiasasopo, and that is another greeting for a youngster. Carnell is only a freshman, 185-pounder, out of Fremont. And the Pac-10 conference standings, that's the way they started the day, but when this one is done, UCLA is going to be 4-0, and they have played all the tough customers, I think. And I don't mean to put down Arizona or the Oregon schools at all. But based on what we have seen so far in the simple arithmetic of manpower, the Bruins may have gone through the toughest part, except for their annual with USC. Campbell wants to throw. He's got all day. Throws it over the middle. The pass is caught by Holden Smith. He was juking around out there with the ball in one hand, but uh, he was able to put it away just in time, and it's out past the 31, which will be a first down. A pickup of 18 yards, his second catch of the day. Here he is, breaking over the middle, trying to find the open spot in the lane behind the linebackers in front of the safety. The ball was right on target. Better learn to tuck it away in the middle. He'll lose it. There's first down, just beyond the 31. That's Paul Jones, the fullback, out to the 34 for a pickup of three. Second down and seven coming up. Eight minutes and 24 seconds to play in the third quarter. Keith, you, what you said at the top of the show, UCLA playing two great passing teams in the last two weeks makes them very confident today. Stanford and Washington State. They took on Steve Dills and Jack Thompson and beat them both. Campbell wants to throw it, does throw it. Ball is intercepted by Brad Clemens. Brad Clemens, number 99, steps in front for another UCLA interception. That is the seventh turnover. It is the fifth interception of Campbell. Campbell had only been intercepted, I think, six, seven times in the first six balls. The fourth interception of Campbell and the fifth interception of the Bears. Houston Oilers, Pittsburgh Steelers square off on ABC's NFL Monday Night Football at 9 Eastern time. The Steelers are 7-0. and Houston is second in that AFC Central Division standing, so it's up to the Oilers. They've got an opportunity. Steve Bukic is now in at quarterback for UCLA. He hands the ball off inside to Theodos Brown, and Brown goes from the 33-yard line to about the 28, about five yards. That's some good blocks by Maine and Davis on the right side. They're getting some movement on that big... Uh, 
Cal defensive inside four. Steve hasn't played a whole lot this year. He's a big, strong fella. He's one for one in his passing. Son of Rudy. Book it. Go inside to Brown again. And Brown is fumbles the ball. California comes up with it. Tim Washington. Washington covered it. The ball was knocked loose by 96 Rozier. Rozier hit him from the back. He bumped the ball up to the bear. Make a break for themselves. Lord, they need one too. Somehow they've got to put it together. Here's the fumble. Brown goes out the back door where the middle linebacker had pursued too far. He just doesn't protect the ball and he strips it from it. Washington number seven falls on it. Or picks it up. And it's at the 22-yard line where it's first down for California. Gary Grauman, who was in the ball game in relief of Campbell, is gone now with a bad knee. He left hobbling with ice wrap on it. They got to go with Campbell. John Williams, the tailback. I'll tell you one thing about that UCLA defensive bunch. They will punish you. You hear the whacking and cracking all the way up here. As we have seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Got great speed too, Keith. The coaches of California thought they're the fastest team in the league. Harvard beating Dartmouth today. Brown edging Cornell. Finals out of the Ivy League. Princeton getting a win today. Been a tough season for Colgate. The Red Raiders had a great year last year, but not much this year. Second down, eight from the 24. To Cal. That's the draw to the fullback Jones, and he's up to the 27 where Jerry Robinson knocks him off his feet. Georgia jumped on Vanderbilt 31-10 today, and having defeated LSU, the Bulldogs are right smack in the middle of everything, and Georgia Tech now has run off five wins in a row. Boy, the fight down in November between Tech and Georgia is going to be something. Looks better and better, doesn't it? Yes. And South Carolina came back to beat Ole Miss 18-17. So that was a big win there for Jim Collins' bunch against the Game Fox. Third down and six. down and gets it as he dives up to the 34 where Arthur Akers inside linebacker brought him down. Clemson rolling along. The Tigers opened up. Lost right out of the blocks but then uh, have come back pretty well and Purdue rolls right along too. Boilermakers 13-0 today. But Michigan State becomes more visible next year too as they get out of the doghouse. Woody put one together. First down, Cal, 34-yard line. Almost ran into the clock problem again. Going deep for Smith. Intercepted by Kenny Easley. The eighth turnover for California. The sixth interception. And the fifth off Campbell. Now, California has possessed the ball. 15 times. You can see it's a fly route, but easily is just too good. Watch him turn and make the play. And all 15 possessions have ended in mistake, penalty, or interception. Hey, come here. At the 26-yard line, the Pacific 10 conference rules are that you can only carry 54 people on the road. I bet all 54 are going to play before this one's over unless California does something pretty dramatic. That handoff goes to Theotis Brown with Steve Bukic in there at quarterback. Senior out of Newport. And Brown gets a couple of more. Give him a better part of three there. 109 yards now. Oh, look here. Houston beat SMU today, 42-28. It was a wild one. And Baylor knocked off a and m and m has been hammered successively. First by Houston and today by Baylor. Theodis Brown trying to get outside, and that bare defensive bunch still got some fight in them. They've been out there most of the day. Stanford at halftime over Washington State, 27 to 14. You look back at Stanford's record, they have had so many games slip away from them. You can see that Rich Brooks, the new coach up at Oregon, the Ducks are full of fight too. They gave Cal all they wanted before finally losing by three, and they're giving the Huskies all they want in Seattle today. It is third down and seven now for UCLA. Ball is 
is loose. Bukic has to cover it. Penalty flag, late hit. That'll give the Bruins first down. When it goes bad, it, it really falls on you. Yep. The opponents fumble and they get a first down out of it. Rosier was just trying to knock him loose from the ball a little bit. And he was laying down over the ball. Looked like it was a good call by the officials. Well, I'll tell you one thing about this group of officials, Frank. They have not put up with any hanky-panky today. The ball just got loose there. Now, Bukic is clearly down. Yes, that is some spear. Mm -hmm. Headgear right at flash with uh, Bukic's headgear. Time called UCLA. Four minutes and 11 seconds to play in the game. In the penalty situation, Cal has hit 10 times, 84 yards. Bruins three times for 25. Penalize UCL of California from the spot of the foul rather than the line of scrimmage, even though it's a dead ball foul. And so it's not a first down, and the Bruins will punt it. McFarland hangs one up. Beauty. Hit back at the 21. Down at the 24. 44-yard punt. Four minutes to play third quarter. In the last possession, UCLA played their second defensive line with their first backfield. On this occasion, looks like they've got most of their defensive secondary and line in the ball game. Quarterback now for California is Eric Anderson. Eric Anderson is in at quarterback for the Bears. Roman is hurt. Campbell has been totally ineffective. Anderson, big strong fellow, whips it to the sidelines, and he is almost intercepted as Ike Gordon, number 92, outside linebacker, was right there. Eric Anderson, who had broken uh, Steve Bartkowski's freshman passing record here at California, is the center on the punting team for the deep snaps. But he's now in there at quarterback. 6'5", 200-pound junior out of San Marino. Campbell, 12 for 21 for 101 yards, but was picked off five times. Second down, 10. Anderson passes, Jones has it, the fullback. He's caught behind the line of scrimmage by Arthur Akers. Down he goes. May have struggled back to the line of scrimmage. UCLA defensive unit now. They've got beginning to substitute. I see Joe Gary, a freshman out of Los Angeles, 250 pounder is in there. They're all corn fed and hand spanked. They can move. The speed on the west coast. Third down. Still about 10 yards to go for California. The ball is at the bear 24. They draw it to Jones. Paul Jones, the fullback, running for his first down. He's close to it. Out to about the 35. Just depends where they want to mark him. And the linesman's going to mark him really close. They're going to have to measure, I think. Nope, they won't either. They'll give Cal the first down. 3.09 to go third quarter. And the Bruins leading 35-0. A 28-point explosion in the second quarter. And just a succession of mistakes by the Bears. Either the... Jones has moved up into that 1,589 bracket. That puts him behind Messrs. Muncy, Oshevsky, and Jensen. <laughs> three pretty fair backs there. I was going to say, those three could play for anybody anywhere. Jerry Robinson is still in the ball game. Consensus two-time All-American. If he'd make it this year, I would guess he would get strong consideration for the Heisman Trophy. You would certainly think so, wouldn't you? Three minutes to go as Anderson on first down. Stetson throws over the middle, and it is incomplete. Off the hands of Arthur Akers, number 39, a big sophomore out of Lynn, Massachusetts, and he has been all over the place here in the third quarter. If Anderson had been able to zip that ball, he had Smith in the crease. He had room to get him, but he couldn't. He threw a knuckleball. Akers was re retreating so fast that um, most linebackers would not have been able to make the play. It's second down, 10, Cal, 34. 
Anderson goes over the pipe again and uh, intended for Lamar Lundy. Uh, Bears look for a penalty flag, don't get any. He went down the middle and he had bugs out here on the sidelines pretty well open. Robinson was back in there to cover. Anderson hadn't played very much and I doubt if he's worked very much, Keith. They've been working the other two quarterbacks. You just can't practice three quarterbacks. You practice your first team quarterback about 60% of the time, second team about 30, maybe the third team 10%. Third and ten. Down the sidelines. Intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Hosea. Now it's time to go to the record book. It's nine turnovers for California. The seventh interception. UCLA had ten coming into the game. Anderson just throws it up. He's forcing it against the two-deep zone, and Hosea plays this position perfectly by moving over right in front of the receiver and intercepting the pass. Intended for John Williams coming out of the backfield. UCLA has the ball first down at their own 49-yard line. 2.43 to go in the third quarter. And here's Freeman McNeil. Tim then turns it back and gets two yards. ABC's Wide World of Sports at 5 Eastern and Pacific, 4 Central next Saturday will bring you the World Gymnastics Championships via satellite. Same day coverage from Strasbourg, France. Kurt Thomas, Bart Connor, Kathy Johnson among those. And Nadia Komenich expected to participate in it. They hand the ball off inside, staying on the ground with a big 35 to nothing lead and two minutes to play. And now in is Marvin Morris, number 46, at that running back position for the Bruins. Billy Sims for Oklahoma had a decent sort of a day, didn't he? Average ten, over 10 yards a try, Keith. He's some football player. Third down and seven. Who gets to throw? And the Bears get it. Deloach coming in a hurry. And the Bruins will now have to kick it away. The attendance, six to 2,500. The most passes California's ever had intercepted in a ball game was back on October 28, 1972, when the Washington Huskies picked off six. So that record is now gone. Owned by the Bruins. Down he goes. Penalty flag with him. Bring it back upfield. One more penalty against Cal. Keith, I'm sure some people wondered why UCLA was passing with the score of 35 to nothing. But Vukovic wants his chance to play and make the football team. You don't want to run up the score, but you want to train these youngsters in case Bayshore goes down with the injury. Vukovic got to come in and play and get well, ready for Vukic the world. Vukovic is. Uh, has had his moments at UCLA, but he has never been the passer. Rich Dixon was the man that came in to hit the kicker. And so they'll bring it back upfield. They'll move the chains, and UCLA will have a first down for roughing the kicker. 101 to go, third quarter. Cal now with 99 yards in penalties on 11 calls. First down at the Cal 39. Bukic gives to Morris. And oh, Marvin's a tank when he gets it rolling, isn't he? he All the way down to the 18. He knew where the goal line was, and he was going the straightest distance right over the safety man. Good run on his part. 21-yard gallop by Marvin Morris. He played defensive line. In fact, he was a nose guard last year. Backup nose guard. Toughness showed through on that one, didn't it? Yes, 19-yard line, first down, UCLA at the Cal 19, and it's Morris again, churning away to the 15. Nebraska ran off 52 points against Colorado. They play November 11 against the Oklahoma Sooners. That will be some contest. Where is it played, Keith? In Boulder? In Lincoln? I think, I think so, yeah. He played in Norman last year. Second down. Six. 
It's Morris one more time. And the third quarter is over as Morris takes it down to the 12 yard line. After three quarters of play, 35 nothing, UCLA. We go to the final quarter of play as you look down from the Goodyear Blimp Columbia, Captain Joel Chamberlain, and Archie Griffin, our cameraman, and here we go. Third down for UCLA Bruins at the California 12-yard line. Rudy Bukic rolling around, tucks it down, and he's out of bounds. Out of bounds just short of the 10-yard line. Steve Bukic, I said Rudy, but Steve Bukic. I'm looking through the record book here. Turnovers in a ball game. The most in the record book is 13. Florida State against Wichita State on two interceptions, 10 fumbles, and and the one block punt. You look back to interceptions if you want to wander around in the record trivia book as Burmeister comes on for a field goal try. And the ball's going to be spotted at the 18 yard line. So it's a 28 yard field goal effort by Peter Burmeister. Plenty of leg, and the kick is good. And so it's now a 38 to nothing ball game. He's two out of three from inside uh, that 20 29 yard range on the year. Longest was a 45 yarder, but to cover that pass interception record, John Reeves playing at Florida in 1969 against Auburn threw the ball 66 times in the ball game, and Auburn picked off nine. So that's the individual. Johnson's kickoff. Carnell goes way back and the win this time at the back of the UCLA kicker. And the football carries beyond the field of play. And a lot of the folks, a crowd of better than 62-5, getting up going home. Heading for an early supper now as you see a lot of empty seats showing up in the stadium. California comes out at the 20-yard line, first down. I see John Williams at tailback. I see Paul Jones, the fullback. I see Eric Anderson at quarterback. John Williams. Oh, Arthur Akers. In to hit him. He might have made it back to the line of scrimmage. It doesn't appear he did. He's going to lose a yard back to the 19. It's second down 11, 14 and a half minutes to play in a ball game. California's run off 58 plays. UCLA has run off 47. But its bottom line's out is productivity. Anderson wants to throw. He's looking for Smith and overthrows it. That was a tentative pass route run by Holden Smith. By that I mean it didn't appear that he knew exactly where he was supposed to go. Keith, I've been watching him the last uh, quarter or so, and he doesn't seem to, to have the feeling of where UCLA defenders are. And I think what we said early in the show, UCLA are uh, confident that they could disguise their coverage and it's confusing their quarterbacks. And that's the one thing that happened to college coaches uh, a few years ago when everybody was throwing the ball. Defensive keys, sophisticated coverages, destroyed the passing game. That'll be illegal procedure against California. The left side of the line moved, so add on another five yards. That gives them a total of 12 penalties and 104 yards. And in every every possession, all fifth, all 17 possessions of California have been marred by some kind of mistake. Either an interception, a penalty, or a quarterback sack, or a fumble. That's incredible. Missouri rolled over Kansas State today. Warren Powers, who bought himself out of a contract at Washington State to go back to Missouri, scored a lot of points this year. Eric Anderson wants to play. But to whom? Over the middle it goes. It's intercepted by Mike Molina. And he runs it back to the 16-yard line. Keith, that's why coaches want their quarterback to stay in the pocket if they possibly can because when you throw after a scramble, you don't know where the defensive people are and you do it right in the middle. And there was Molina for the touch, for the interception. Here he is. Of course, he was forced out of the pocket. Throws it right down the middle. 
Molina breaks on the ball, what we call ball time. How far he can move while the ball, football is in the air. And from the 17-yard line, Marvin Morris. He weighs in at 222 out of Carson, California. Bangs in for a yard or so. That is the 10th turnover by California, the 8th pass interception, and the 2nd of Eric Anderson. Keith, Nebraska played such a fine game today in beating Colorado. Finishes a season with Oklahoma and Missouri. Boy, that's two big ones for them to end up with. Well, I should say so. Second down, 15. Eight for the first down. Steve Bookers. And he's down back at the 23 by Ralph DeLoach, defensive end, who pursued him all the way across. Steve tried to turn it up, couldn't do it. So it's back at the 23-yard line. Keith, why do you think we have as many upsets in football? The 30 rule? I think the 30 rule is a massive contributor to it, Frank, because uh, so many of these good freshman football players today want to go play. And they have certainly proven they can play with the juniors and seniors. And so they're going to teams that need them. And they strap on the helmet and get out and play. And the score right now, timeout, 38 nothing. Brooklyn. The stadium on the campus at the University of California. And it's been drained of a whole lot of folks by now with UCLA sitting on a 38 nothing lead. Uh, about one third maybe of the crowd has gone home. But it's... UCLA's ball, third down now, back at the 23-yard line, and they got to go to the seventh for the first down. Steve Bukic throws it, and it is incomplete intended for Ricky Kaufman, a flanker coming across the middle. And he was under a great deal of pressure as DeLoach was firing all the way for California. And Dupre Marshall also coming in. Looking through the record book, we find that the most passes intercepted by a team is 11 Brown against Rhode Island back in 1949 and uh, UCLA has picked off eight so far in the game Brown did the intercept against Rhode Island 1949 30 years in trouble Bears get him back at the 31-yard line, and so the Bruins down there knocking on the door. The second unit unable to punch it in, and... Here comes the kicking team. So here comes the offensive team for California. Eric Anderson, relieving Campbell at quarterback, goes to Bugs on the sidelines, and Michael can handle it. It's out of bounds off his hands. Out beyond the 40. Keith, this conference, the Pac-8-10 conference, has had some great football players, and they've got more offensive people, I think, than any other part of the country. We Down in the Southwest, we have speed but we don't develop the passes like they do out in the high schools like they do in this part of the country and that's the reason these teams I think throw so often There's so many good high school programs here in Northern California in particular they seem to produce good passing quarterbacks second down and ten Anderson wants to throw it again goes to the sideline he goes to Holden Smith who is thrown out of bounds at about the 39 yard line they'll mark it just beyond the 39 and so Cal's going to be looking at third down and short yardage, just a little bit short of his first down. Keith, uh, the wishbone and the options are so dominant in the colleges and in the south, the southeast, that the high schools follow it pretty well. They, they want to do what the colleges are doing, so they have running quarterbacks and they don't throw very much at high school. They're seldom. Third down and about two yards for Cal for the first down. Pops it up in the air. The pass is complete. Good for the first down to Dave Money. Money is popped out at midfield, and so California now starting to move it a little bit against the UCLA second-line defense in the main. Some of the first unit is still out there. Johnny Lynn is still at the cornerback. Scott Stalk is out there. Dave Gomer is in. Arthur Akers has played a lot here in the second half. 
Robinson in at nose guard. Tuias Soko out of the ball game. Anderson gives it to Paul Jones, the fullback, and Jones trying to draw it up the middle. Gets a couple of yards at 11.40 to go in the game with Robinson making the tackle. But here's an example uh, of the freshman, Frank. You're talking about the 30 rule a moment ago. You see that number there the yep. last time Carroll was shut out back in 66, and that was down in Alabama. But... Robinson, for example, a freshman to come to uh, UCLA, which is located in a massive population center, to come from Corpus Christi, Texas, has to be an exceptional athlete. So he decided to come, and here he is backing up Monte Tuiasosopo, which means also as a sophomore next year, they're going to have experience in the middle. Anderson's pass, complete to Michael Bugs, and Bugs is out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Keith, another interesting point, I think, about different parts of the country and in, in the Southwest Conference, every team but SMU stressed the option play, where in the Pac-10, UCLA and Arizona are the only two that run an option play of any kind. Mm -hmm. There's another penalty flag down on the field. They're talking to Jerry Robinson, the UCLA defensive captain. Or did somebody just ate the flag? He waved off the penalty, whatever. And it's a first down for California at the 35-yard line. Penalty against UCLA declined by California. All right. Anderson, the quarterback, keeps it and lunges ahead to about the 31-yard line. Keith Phil Yeoman won a big ball game today, defeating SMU 42 to 28. And the theory of Bill Yeoman is that he can throw the football if he can run the option play because it dictates to the defense how you can defend against the option, which eliminates these sophisticated pass coverages that we have seen today by UCLA. Anderson back to throw on second and seven. Going deep. It is a touchdown for Michael Bugs. He got hung up with the quarterback over there, the defender, but he got away from him and ran it into the end zone. And as a penalty flag back up field, California holding. I don't believe it. Can't happen. Murphy's Law, everything. Goodness gracious. 18 possessions, and in every one of the possessions, there has either been a penalty, a fumble, an interception, or a sack of the quarterback. 119 yards in penalties. But let's look at it anyway, because a heck of an effort by young Michael Bugs. Watch Bugs, who's a freshman, change his pattern and leaps and catches the ball for the Well, what would have been a touchdown. Got away from Johnny Lynn. In high school, he caught uh, 38 passes for just under 1,000 yards in his senior year. Second down, Miguel. The ball is back at their own 49. The pass is thrown out there and intercepted by Brian Baggett. He's had a 61-yard touchdown run already today, and he's going home here, I think. He's in there. Baggett goes 60. Earlier he had gone 61, and it's now 44 nothing. And they're one of the Bruins down at midfield, shaken up. Eric Anderson, the quarterback for Cal, got up very slowly as well. Baggett's teammates just jumped all over him in the end zone. It's like that was the touchdown that put him into the Rose Bowl. That's the enthusiasm that they've got. You can see Anderson, watch him point the ball. The defense get a good break on the on the throw when he looks at the receiver all the way. Of course, Baggett just breaks right in front of him, one-hands it, and that's an exceptional play. You don't see that very often. Then he puts on a little stop and go and sprints for the goal line. Straightest line in it. What I learned about engineering, Keith, one thing. Straight lines, shortest distance between two points. It was Joe Gary who was shaken up tackle for UCLA, but he comes off the field under his own power, walking around there. So now each California quarterback has had a touchdown pass to the other side. 
Total of 11 turnovers and nine interceptions. And it's getting embarrassing. Here's the kick. By Burmeister, it is good. It is 45-0 UCLA. And what a disappointing day this has to be for the California Golden Bears. Given Brian back at 62 yards on that pass interception touchdown run, so he has two today of 61 and 62 yards. Carnell out of the end zone. Out to the 19. Down he goes. There was such anticipation here in this community, such enthusiasm, having lost their opening game, but then having played four of their first six on the road, as you look at the turnover story. And uh, having national television, having all of those factors here, an opportunity for the California football program to present itself as being one of the better teams in the country. But they have just simply not been able to do anything right all day. That's the fact that they're playing a very good team. Add those two factors together, and it's easy to get run out of town. And that's just about what's happened so far in the ball game. Mark Houghton, senior out of West Vancouver, British Columbia, is now in at fullback for the Bears, and he gets it up for about five yards. UCLA has broken its own record of eight interceptions and tied the conference record with nine interceptions in this ball game. Second down and a long five here for the Bears as Anderson remains at quarterback. Eric looking to throw. Has to pull it down and gets about a yard as he comes up across the 25. Joe Gary back at the ball game. And Mark Tuine, a freshman out of Hawaii from the island of Oahu. There's a penalty flag down underneath the stack there. Personal foul against UCLA. The ball game this late in the day, and this far removed from the dignity, insofar as the losing team is concerned, is bound to get a little ragged. I'm sure that Terry Donahue wishes he had more than 54 people to put in a ball game, but that's all you're allowed to travel with in the Pac-10 conference. That's and a faculty rep's rule. Keith, don't like that rule about leaving. Well, there's some disadvantage in it, to be sure, because it can disrupt your uh, special teams operation. Ball goes to Parnell. Outside he gets and gets the first down. He just gets beyond the marker and goes down to about the UCLA 48 before he is shoved out by Jimmy Turner, another freshman out of Sherman, Texas. Turner was a highly recruited youngster. In fact, uh, both uh, the players that they got from Texas were two of the best uh, top 15 in the state. UCLA just started recruiting nationally two years ago, according to Terry Donahue. They had so much success, they're going to continue. Go, Glenn. 48 yard line. Up of uh, UCLA. Cal has the ball. It's Carnell again. And he's pretty quick. Didn't have much block, and he made it mostly on his own. Made the yardage. It's near the 40. Second down, about three. Nine minutes to play in a ball game. Running down the scores of the top ten teams in the national polls. Second down three, Anderson to throw it, goes to the sidelines, and the pass is incomplete. It was intended for Billy Kemp, number 89, a sophomore, out of Fresno. USC beginning to move along against Oregon State now. That's a matter of manpower. And I think anybody in this country wasn't really startled Pitt hung on today to edge Florida State in a tough ball game. Uh, that USC lost so roundly to Arizona State. Not that the Sun Devils weren't pretty hot about uh, what happened to them in their first conference game against Washington State, and they have a good football team. But they just drummed USC. Third down and still three as Anderson goes over the middle, and it is almost intercepted by Jerry Robinson. Almost had it, and it's spun out of his hands. One of the problems uh, for uh, the Trojans last week is John Robinson, the coach of USC, lost all four centers. He had a defensive guard doing the snapping. Well, that just disrupts all of your offense when you lose those uh, offensive centers. And 
Can't get the ball from center. The quarterback, when he does, can't get it on time to the ball carrier, and that's what happened to some degree against Arizona State. It is fourth down and 13 from the border. Oh, excuse me, fourth down and three. Anderson puts it up in the air, and it is well short of the intended target. Dave Money as Ken Walker was in putting the heat on it. And so the Bears will give it up one more time with eight minutes and 34 seconds to play in a ball game and the Bruins leading 45 zip. Offering you that picture of the Columbia looking down to the stadium and it's very quiet. The Bears are getting drummed by the Bruins. They've just absorbed another long penalty. It is now 14 calls against California for 134 yards. Steve Bukic is the quarterback. He's back to throw it. Pulls it down. Breaks it big. Got a first down. As he took it from the 28-yard line inside the 15. Glenn Cannon is one of the setbacks. Kao Sapali is number 19. He's in there at a running back. Eric Escher is in at the flanker position. Ricky Kaufman's in as a wide receiver. Greg Christensen's in the ball game. Everybody's playing. Dave Odie, Vic Meyer, Ron Davis, Lewis Sharp. Billy Curran has been in. Doki Williams on the field now, number 30. Kaufman is wide to the right. Notre Dame beat the Air Force today by 23. That's Cannon. Glenn Cannon is hit at about the line of scrimmage on first down at the 13. Eight minutes to play in a ball game. Ron Du Bois in there. I think probably the only fellow that we've not called his name today is Bernard Quarles, a freshman quarterback, number 12. And I don't believe he's been in the lineup. You usually get in for the last series if they're going to play him on the new NCAA rule. They can redshirt him if he hasn't played any ball games. Bukic gives it to Glenn Cannon, and Cannon gets inside the 10 to about the 9-yard line. And this program is a special exclusive of ABC Sports. Let's pause five seconds to allow our local stations to identify themselves. This is Channel 7, KABC-TV, Los Angeles. Well, the sun's out bright and warm, but it must feel like an inferno for the California football team and their coaching staff. Not a pleasant place to be. Mm -mm. The ball fell. Sapali, the up man out of the I formation, goes over the top. Legs are chucked up from under him by Bob Rozier, number 96. And it's going to bring up a fourth down. Tim Reitman in, a freshman tight end. UCLA team is a relatively young team. Bayshore's back next year. Bukic is a senior. McNeil's only a sophomore. Owens is a senior. Brown has another year of eligibility left if he chooses to use it. Out of the eye. Now they split it on fourth down from the eight. Bukic keeps, wriggles his way across the five, but he is going to be short of the first down. So California should get the football first down at about their four. And obviously, Terry Donahue deciding there's no need for him to run up the score. He just simply got his reserves out there to get the work and they work their way just one yard short of a first down where Cal takes over Bruins have it in the bag 45 to nothing not having stopped UCLA first down at the four yard line but they only had 10 people so they went fetching around and found Holden Smith and got him out there now to have 11. Anderson gives it to Mike Carnell and Carnell's up to the 11 yard line California next week has to go to Los Angeles on Saturday afternoon and play the U University of Southern California Trojans Coliseum they go ahead I'm, I'm sure uh, Frank that John Robbins is not gonna like to hear what he's hearing from up in uh, Berkeley no they'll pick up the fragments and get what's remain and get it all together and uh, Peter's a good football coach Carnell again on second down and four. And he runs for the first down out past the 20 to the 22. As Dave Gomer makes the tackle for UCLA. And where's he been? 
California got behind and had to live by the pass, Keith, and most coaches will agree that you can score some points with living by the pass, but you don't win many football games. You've got to have some kind of running game to keep them honest so that they can't just concentrate on defense. Five and a half minutes to play in a ball game. It's first down, Bears, 22-yard line. Anderson goes to Carnell again, and this time Akers is right there, number 39, just bang, bang, and down he goes in the heap. John Gary is going to be under that stack, too, I think, number 53. Joe Gary. And so the clock rolls along at five minutes, roughly, to play in a ball game. There's a gain of a yard, second down, and about eight and a half for the first down. Billy Kemp coming out wide to the open side of the field. Anderson looking for him. It's almost intercepted by Bobby Hosea, the senior out of San Bernardino, went high in the air, but the pass was overthrown, and he could not reach it. And Kemp, the intended receiver, had virtually no opportunity. When you throw an outside cut, Keith, most quarterbacks are taught to throw the ball low and outside, where if it is incomplete, it can't be intercepted. Don't throw behind him, and don't throw behind him over his head. Another ball game looking down the list of undefeated teams as California comes up now on third and eight. They draw it to Houghton, the fullback. He's got his first down. So Houghton runs it out across the 30 to the 34 for a first down for the Bears. But another ball game that looms larger and larger down the schedule is Maryland, Penn State. That will be something. Jerry Claiborne is an outstanding defensive coach. And uh, he has got a good football team. Fusina is a great passer. It'll be some game. Stanford and Washington State running up a lot of points today. And now the Washington manpower edge over Oregon beginning to show in the fourth quarter in that game. Carnell with the ball. And the freshman cannot turn the corner. He's decked inside the 30 for a loss of four yards. Hosea making the stop. So make it second down and 14 with four minutes to play in a ball game. The Georgia-Georgia Tech game looks bigger and bigger. The Auburn fortunes apparently damaged severely when Brooks suffered a broken leg. It was laid up, though Cribs last week had a real big game for Auburn. Nebraska-Oklahoma, of course, we've mentioned already. Is a, a big Anderson over the middle. The pass is caught by Kemp. Good pass, good catch. First down, Bears, UCLA 46. 24 yards on the play. It's a little quick inside turn pattern. The ball's right on the target to Kemp. And if he doesn't catch it, Keith, I believe it would have been intercepted. Anderson hits him just as he turns inside the cornerback and just before he gets to the safety. Perfect throw. First down Bears, Bruin 46. Anderson goes for Monier. It's intercepted by Hosea. Bobby is down at the UCLA 38-yard line. He has Monia breaking downfield. That is the 10th interception by the Bruins, the 12th turnover by California. From Marina Del Rey to Marblehead, even landlubbers are tough. The football is sitting at the 45-yard line of UCLA. Third down and three for the Bruins. Third down and three with two minutes and 15 seconds to play in the game. And the first quarter scores, but UCLA blew it wide open in the second quarter with 28 points and led at halftime by a score of 28 nothing. And California just simply not been able to do anything. Steve Bukic unloads the pass, and it's off the hands of Ron Bois, a sophomore out of Los Angeles. So Ronnie had his big chance there and could not get it. Look right up into that bright sun and might not have seen it. We're going to name the offensive and defensive players of the game in just a moment or two. Each player will, in his name, uh, carry a $1,000 scholarship back to the General Scholarship Fund of his university, compliments of Chevrolet. 
tenth interception by UCLA is now a new conference record. Whatever that's worth. Fun to look back on it, I guess, someday if you're a Bruin. There's a kick downfield, and a fair catch is called by Kemp. Back at his 10-yard line, a 45-yard punt by McFarland with 150 to play in a ball game that has been a surprise. Tightwad Hill in the background and James Owens and Billy Don Jackson chosen as the offensive and defensive players of the game. Billy Don getting his touchdown as a result of an interception. It was James Owens who had those key plays early in the ball game including the 34-yard touchdown sprint. So UCLA gets $2,000 for its general scholarship fund compliments of Chevrolet. The pass is completed to Joe Rose, a junior out of Marysville, California, and he goes for another California first down. But the party is over. The decision is in. Owens, 70 yards today, two touchdowns, but his touchdown sprint and some of the plays that he made early really swung it over for the Bruins' big 28-point explosion. The pass is over the head of the intended receiver, Kemp. Jackson had five tackles, one assist, one sack, a fumble recovery, an interception, and a touchdown. And the executive producer of NCAA football is Rune Arledge. Coverage of today's game produced by Chuck Howard. Directed by Andy Sedaris, our technical director, John Allen, our associate director, Kurt Gowdy, Jr., our technical manager, Jerry Bobbian, and our unit manager, Phil Ennist. Long time since I've seen Philip. Stats by Mike Swanson, research Jerry Klein, Keith Jackson, Frank Broyles. Out here in Berkeley, it's been sort of a long afternoon for the California Bears. Bruins 45 to nothing. Eric Anderson puts it up, completes the pass again to Rose, and Rose goes down to the UCLA 32. And worth remembering still, Cal has uh, not been shut out since uh, Alabama did it 66 to nothing back in 1973. Now they're running their two-minute offense. The passing team is pretty effective with this. No huddle, but since they stopped the clock to measure, they'll go back and get a play. They'll bring the change in, 57 seconds to play. This football game between UCLA and California has been brought to you by the folks at Chevrolet who invite you to come on in to your Chevy dealers coast-to-coast -coast for a look at an all-star lineup of cars. By the Bell System, people using technology to keep your phone system the best in the world. And by Black & Decker, there's a Black & Decker finish sander for everything you need to finish. There's one more reason why, when America has a job to do, it reaches for Black & Decker. Eric Anderson to throw it one more time, goes the other way. Pass is incomplete, intended for Carnell coming out of the backfield. And so the day wears on with 39 seconds to play in the game. UCLA has now tied the NCAA record with three interception returns for touchdowns. So we're pretty well plowed up the record book. is running now at 36 seconds and stops there and California calls time to find out something about his football team yep next week on the practice field Rich Campbell the young sophomore quarterback just simply couldn't cut it today against UCLA Gary Groman was injured Eric Anderson is in the pass intended for Carnell off his left hand, he was in the clear. Had he been able to come down with it, he would have had a touchdown and 30 seconds to play in the game. Right now, the Bears are trying to dodge that shutout bullet. How many timeouts do we have? I was surprised. UCLA was in a man-for-man -man coverage. The safety man jumped on the tight end and opened up the post route. Anderson on second down and 10 goes to Doug on the sideline. Started to go out, then decided not to, but the clock will stop because he has a first down. Even though well, he may not have a first down. Now they stop it. 15 seconds to play. Well, that's so close, I think it's short. They're looking at it. Talking about it. 
Nebraska has really put it together, Keith. Yeah, must have. Offensively from the first ball game against Alabama. A rather dismal outing because it was a, uh, one of those days or nights when uh, Nebraska couldn't do anything right. And then the next week they started to move it against California. And from there they have gone on to score an enormous number of points. Clock running now at 10 seconds. To play in the game. Anderson back to throw. Throws to Carnell. He bobbles the ball and drops it. The crowd is coming out on the field. They have stopped the clock on the incomplete forward pass with two ticks remaining. Two seconds to play. Been a long ball game. Here, three hours, roughly three hours and 15 minutes. A lot of passes. Stop the clock. UCLA will continue undefeated in conference play with a record of 4-0, and and the Bruins now have really put the heat on the rest of the membership in the Pac-10 conference. Having defeated Washington, Stanford, Cal, and Washington State. All four of those teams, pretty tough. Last play of the game. Trying for the touchdown. He won't get it. Monia came up with it, but he is short of the goal line, and the ball game is over. Final score, UCLA 45, California nothing. Flip provided by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Travel arrangements made through, and promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United built the largest airline in the free world around you. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. Columbus has a pair of undefeated.